Hello Varanziwa, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome as well. If you do not know what Varanziwa means, it means hey my loves or hey love, which in Tonga, which is Varanziwa. And I think that is cool. I don't know if you guys don't like it, just please put a comment down below. So anyways, really, if you are new, welcome as well. If you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, please do click on the subscribe button and also like this video if you really do like it. Also click on the notification button so that every time I upload, you get to see my face quickly. So today we'll be talking about my best soaps of 2020 on my acne prone skin and my sensitive skin. So we, these are the soaps that I would reach for when I really want to wash my face or when I do not have a cleanser or you know when I just feel like using soap for that day. So these are the soaps that I've been reaching for. So if you want to see more on the soaps that are super gentle and good on my skin that is super sensitive and it is acne prone, please keep on watching. Um, the first bar of soap or soap bar soap, I don't know how we call it guys, is this baby right here. The reason this one is number one is because it's always in the household. You guys, I don't think I really need to show you this. This is sunlight, you guys, green bar. Like the one thing that I love about this is that it's just, it has its own scent. It's like scent free in a way. So it has like, I don't know. First of all, it doesn't smell like fragrance. That is number one, because that is one thing that I'm looking for is a, a non-fragrance product. And another thing is it's reachable. It's always in the house. And another thing that I love about this is because it's super cheap and it flipping takes time to finish. More especially if you are using it on your face only. Like even if you're using it on your, your full body, it's still doable. Like it lasts forever. More especially if you dry it, guys, it lasts. So another thing that I love about this is that it does, it's that it doesn't irritate my skin at all like literally i just wash with this and that's it and again it really cleanses like i love a soap that really would clean my face and i'm for cleaning my face thoroughly for about one minute so if my cleanser or anything or the soap that i'm using doesn't really clean my face like what was the use of using it so i like the fact that it's effective and one thing just one thing that i don't like about this soap it's that it doesn't like that smell of it it doesn't leave the house <laughs> you really need to spray something after you know to make sure that the sunlight doesn't smell i don't know if it's because we know we grew up using this and the smell that just doesn't leave you like it's that smell that doesn't leave at all so that is one thing i don't like about it but other than that it doesn't irritate my skin it cleanses my skin and that is what i'm going for and if you do not irritate me you clean my face and you are cheap and you are reachable i mean why not so that is number one soap that i really like and i would always go for when i don't want to go in with my cleanser or i did not buy my cleanser that month and such a feel can be expensive sometimes like right now y'all this is one of the soaps that i'm using because i am out okay so the second soap that i really like i do not have it with me here because i finished it it is the clicks uh glycerin soap and guys that soap my cousin plugged me and since i started using that soap my face has been feeling so nice just like the green bar uh, soap the clicks glycerin soap is <sighs> fire guys first of all glycerin is known for soothing your skin it's known for smoothing your skin it's known for moisturizing your skin like it just creates that skin barrier that you know is healthy and stuff so i like the fact that it has like glycerin as the main component because glycerin is good for our skins i love that soap it's like gone guys like i always use it and i think for it to not dry to to go super fast you need to dry it as well because i didn't dry mine and it was simply gone within two weeks so one thing i love about that soap is that it's because it is mainly glycerin and again it doesn't irritate my skin and it damn washes my face and that is what i'm looking for on a soap and the fact that you know it doesn't like something that doesn't irritate my skin fire and again the price yo and again the price it is super affordable like you can buy a lot of those things and you still have clear you still have clear and nice skin that soap has been clearing a lot of people's skins more especially this one as well so you may want to 
try those soaps as well and see how it, it works but most people is like it's clearing most of people's faces as well in terms of dark spots i don't know what magic is it that is going on in the soaps another soap that i really like it is this baby right here oh it's upside down it is this baby right here which is the dove soap and i've got the mini one now because i can't find the bigger one so it's this soap right here uh, this soap right here is my newly found baby and again this soap doesn't irritate my skin it cleans my face it leaves my face feeling moisturized and smooth that's why i really like it you want to check the dove soap the original one which is uh white and make sure it is i think right i think lately they've been having the fragrance free one I don't know this one the one that I have here it smells like fragrance a little bit I will go in with the fragrance free one because I think they do have it now this baby right here um, also has been known to be clearing people's faces as well I have seen it actually cleaning smoothing and moisturizing my face and this is one of the picks that I would go for if you know I'm going shopping like this is something that I would go for so these are the soaps that I really like so another soap that I really like is this um, is this soap right here. It doesn't have the thingy anymore because I've been using it. This is the Cetaphil Bath Soap or Bath Soap. And this one is super gentle on skin. Like I really love uh, Cetaphil products because of the super gentle components that they have on their products. Especially the soap, y'all. Like it glides on nicely on your hands. And then when you apply it, it's super gentle. You have this nice... I don't know like it's more like a good experience on your face when you're washing your face and it has been known to clear people's faces as well so I don't know if this has been clearing my face or not because of the products the many products that I've been using but I have been always using Cetaphil cleanser or bar soap since I started my since I started taking my skincare seriously so this has been my baby as well and I will always have it this is one of the products that I would go for if i feel like i've got coins because i think it resells for 130 this is the more this is the most expensive one and this ones the ones that i just show you guys are the most cheapest so i'm likely to go for the cheaper option if they're all going to be doing the same job it's just that this one is cetaphil and it's a tough feel but i don't know maybe it does clear my face but i wouldn't say it clears my face i would say it washes my face it leaves my face moisturized as well it also you know i just like the fact that it's gentle more especially if you've got acne and you're breaking out you want to look for a soap that is super gentle so this is one of the picks that you should probably go for i'm telling you you're gonna enjoy your washing because i know during that time when you're breaking out i don't know if it happens to you guys the minute i apply something on my face i start I like my my face doesn't want to be charged at all the minute I start touching it it starts being painful I don't know if you guys experience that kind of breakout like my breakout hurts like let me say it used to hurt because I don't want to have it anymore you know you want to speak things into existence although sometimes you know you'd be like I'm just waiting on a day where I'm gonna break out but right now guys let's pray that we do not break out at all but this is one of the soaps that I really use that are super gentle on my scars that are super gentle on my acne on my breakout my pimples or something like that I really like this so much and another soap i don't know if you very you have seen it on my channel and i did mention it which is the dude osan black african black african black soap yes this is the african black soap by dudu Olsen. and one thing that you one thing that i really like about this soap is that it is a black soap first of all so it's soothing it clears your scars like it just has a lot of benefits in it because it kills the bacteria like it does all that for you and i just like the benefits of this you, even on your hair as well i like the fact that you can actually use the soap on your hair you can use it on your face you can use it on your body that is how much it is but i would advise you guys to not use this soap if you've got sensitive skin more especially when you're still breaking out i i don't know because my skin is super sensitive i do not use this soap when i am breaking like when i have like 
active pimples and stuff because I do not find this soap gentle at all but I find it super um, I find it super effective when I'm kind of healed and you know washing my face because I feel like it's kind of harsh unless if because I'm used to the most gentler uh, soaps this one I wouldn't say it's super gentle so you want to keep that in mind but I love the benefits and I like the fact that it clean and what it that it cleans and the fact that you know it sort of help you clear your face and give you radiant smoothing anti inflamed antibacterial effect on your face so i've also been i don't know i have reviewed this soap somewhere in my channel i think i'll find a link or something like that i think the most expensive soaps that i've talked about today is the cetaphil and the black soap and Oh, actually, this soap retails. So where I did the Osun, I don't know, on Take A Lot, I saw it for 150, if I'm not mistaken. But where I buy this is actually 50 to 70 rands. So I find it very cheap. So this would be the second most expensive soap after Cetaphil. So I think, you know, using bath soaps, um, one thing that I really like about it is that they are super affordable and they do the job and they last. And another thing that I really like about them is that they last and you always have something to wash your face with again when you are traveling it's easier to just take the soap and put it on your bag and just go about your day without like holding those super bottles or have to transfer your big bottle to the small one you know that is like a lot of work so these are my picks especially when i'm traveling when i am out of my cleansers or when i'm double cleansing i just go in with the soap first and then go with the cleanser if i want to or you know just use the soap and make sure that i'm just double cleansing or just cleaning my face for that one minute that i always preach about so these are my soaps my best soaps for 2020 on my acne prone skin on my breaking <sighs> miserable skin so yep that is it from this video thank you so much you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to like and comment and i'll see you guys on the next one i hope you are enjoying this series and we'll see i think i'll see you guys on christmas so yes see you guys on christmas bye